Before I begin, let me ask you a quick question. Have you ever wondered where the waste from your old laptop, used phone battery, or expired medicine actually ends up? The fact that most of us throw them away and never think twice. But here's the reality. Those items are not ordinary waste. They belong to a dangerous category called hazardous and toxic waste, or in Indonesia, we call them limbah B3, bahan berbahaya, dan beracun. Furthermore, the scary truth is, they don't just disappear, they seep into our soil, contaminate our rivers, and release invisible toxin into the air we breathe, staying in our environment for decades or even centuries. And here I stand, determined to raise awareness about this issue, why it matters to every single one of us, and most importantly, what we can do together to manage it responsibly. This is not just an environmental issue. It is a matter of survival and sustainability that directly align with sustainable development goal number 12, which is responsible consumption and production. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day, honorable judges and fellow visionaries. My name is Anggita Sadarangkuti, proudly representing Universitas Muhammadiyah Sumatera Utara in pemilihan mahasiswa berprestasi of 2025. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's rapidly changing world, one of the most urgent yet often overlooked environmental challenges in Indonesia is the management of hazardous and toxic waste. In 2024 alone, data from the Ministry of Environment shows that Indonesian businesses produce around 90 million tons of hazardous waste. Indeed, the hazardous waste that refers to substances due to their chemical nature, concentration, or amount can directly or indirectly threaten human health and the environment. Those substances can enter our food chain. For instance, heavy metals like mercury, arsenic, and lead that are extremely toxic. They can impact and lower children's IQ, damage blood production, cause infertility, miscarriage, or even death. Moreover, cleaning them up can cost billions of rupiah. And the United Nations already warns that hazardous waste is one of the fastest growing environmental threats globally. And developing countries such as Indonesia frequently carry a disproportionate burden. Yes, we do have government regulation number 22 of 2021 requiring safe waste handling from reduction to disposal. However, the enforcement in our country is still weak and public awareness in our society remains dangerously low. So now, the question is, how do we tackle this pressing crisis? Well, I myself propose a comprehensive four-part strategy to address the challenge head-on. First, control industrial waste at the source by minimize hazardous materials, switch to safer options, and treating all waste before disposal so companies can take full responsibility for the damage they cause. Second, adopt the three R principle, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce harmful materials, reuse product to extend their life, and recycle the waste to keep out of our waterways and soil. Third, reinforce green technology and innovation through solution like bioremediation and utilize advanced water purification to neutralize waste before it harms the environment. And last but not least, empower our communities through education about the dangers of hazardous waste and safe disposal, fostering awareness and a culture of environmental responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the technology, the regulation, the knowledge to solve this. What we need now is the will to act. Let's choose safer products, reduce single-use plastics, and support eco-friendly businesses because hazardous waste knows no borders. It threatens our air, water, and food that we rely on. And the damage may soon be irreversible. So, would you act now or wait until the worst-case scenario happens? It's up to you. I am Angita Sadarangkuti, carrying a message of urgency, responsibility, and hope. Thank you and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.